Okay, here we go. Davis Mills, the black horse of this draft class, this 2021 class. Everyone's talking about him. They're saying he might even creep up into the first round. So I was like, let's we got to dive into some tape. I got a I got a couple comments asking for Davis Mills. So here we go. Um, this is the first drive of the Colorado game this year. Um, let's let this play run through here, and then we'll talk about it. Looks like he's going to hit a corner out up top. Corner makes a pretty good play on the ball. So let's go pre-snap here. I think, for the most part, they're going to play this side. I mean, this guy is not going to be able to really get into the this concept. So this is all this really is is just a smash concept. He's going to bring that high. He's going to run this out. I mean, you see this all day, all the time, high school football, even Pop Warner, they run smash. Usually teams will have this receiver here, and he'll just hitch. But they're just getting to the same landmarks a different way. So right now he hits the top of his three, right? This guy's open, which I don't like because that means he could fall underneath this. So right here I'm thinking in my head, just because he's open, I'm throwing this out route. Because this corner's job, he's going he's gonna to split the corner route and the, the smash, the hitch, the out, whatever you want to call this here. This is an out here, but technically it would be a hitch. His job is to split that and be able to make a play on both balls. So he does a good job. They don't want to give up the corner route, so he is going to try and manipulate the quarterback the best that he can to make him throw this corner route to pick it off. And that's really what he does. He opens here, and then he closes back watch. And once the ball's in the air, he closes, makes a play. Right there. So what I want to see from Mills on this play is hit, his top, hit the top of his three and drive this ball to the sideline. Don't even let this guy get involved. He can't make a play on this out route. Just drive it to the sideline. Take five, maybe seven, maybe eight yards, depending on what he gets after the catch, and call it a day. This is not good. As far as decision making, the ball though, I mean phenomenal. I mean this is far hash to far sideline on the money. I mean he puts this on the money. If that corner's not there, it's dropping right in the breadbasket. All right, so this play comes, I think this is the first play of the second drive. This is just... Uh, overall bad I don't, I don't really know what's going on here this is just like a kind of like a power pass just like you're going to get a flat a flat and a corner and then you got a guy protecting it to keep the, the safety out of it that's all this really is um but he just air mails it totally air mails this now most people play this heat one to two to three. Now I think he has pretty much anybody he wants to go to. This guy was down here before he opened his arm to throw, so I don't want to say like, oh, why didn't he throw the flat? Because this guy's kind of falling off and reacting late. But he could put this on him for sure. I mean, for sure he could put it right on him. And if he doesn't like this because this guy's falling off, we have here. I mean, it's it's there. He could do whatever he wants here. Um. We're going to get the tight for this throw, too, so you guys can kind of see what he's seeing. I want to kind of show you. So now he's here. Now he knows 80. He's got this right here. Like, and he's set, ready to throw. He's got his base ready. His his feet are wide. He's got his base ready to go. Deliver. Bang. Just put this right on his numbers. I mean, this is pitch and catch football, and he air mails it. This is a little bit later in the game. I think this is... NFL type stuff right here. This is just beautiful. Um, so what he's getting here is is pre-snap. Let's go pre-snap here. It looks like, you know, maybe they're blitzing, maybe they're not. They got everyone stacked at the box. Corners are looking like mm, cover two, honestly. But I know we, it becomes cover two, but they do look like it. They're kind of sitting on an angle, 45, butt to the sideline. This looks like cover two to me. It might open up the quarters. I don't really know. But I'm thinking cover two here. And I think Mills is thinking cover two. And as this guy's creeping and we snap the ball, you see it. Bang here. Bang here. Kind of sit in. Kind of sit in. 
But now our blitzing linebackers that are showing, they're bailing out. They're here, they're here, and they're here. Now Mills recognizes this safety play. He's moving. If you see him, he's got his eyes right on that safety, and he's moving them. He knows where he wants to go with this ball. He knows he wants to go right here, and he's setting it up. And that's the stuff you want to see right there. Now he snaps back. Bang. Big play. Big time throw. This is another one. Big time throw. Good read. Got to make the catch. Got to make the catch. We got the tight here, so you could kind of see how he's moving the safety. So we're going to go back here. Okay, so now he, it's kind of a, to me, this is a quarters look. You got corner, safety, safety, corner. It's just going to be, you know, theoretically here, 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 here. Um, so I, I like this decision right here, knowing that this safety right here is going to come down because he kind of has other responsibilities, especially in the run fit. And Mills kind of sees him starting to rock down. Maybe he's even blitzing here. And uh, he notices it. NFL-type throw right on the money. Beautiful. I mean, beautiful window right here. Look at look at Mills' eyes. Just trying to, just trying to hold somebody. I'm, I'm making sure that, that I'm not locking on my guy. Bang. Beautiful. Okay, this is this is a a little bit of a concern. I know they hit a four verticals uh earlier in the game, but they hit it at a bunch. So, I think he's thinking again, I'm just going to go to the same guy right up the sh right up the, sh the shoot. Um as soon as he clears this guy, I'm going to just let it rip. But this is more of Davis Mills like not seeing the big picture sometimes, and I think that's that's what uh, holds him back. I swear, I think if Mills had another season or even, yeah, like another season to develop, he really could be a first-round pick. I think he has a lot of the tools, but I think sometimes he gets into trouble doing stuff like that. So right here, I'm thinking quarters. I'm thinking quarter, quarter, half maybe where he's, he's squatting. That's just cover two to the boundary and quarters to the field, cover four to the field. Um, that's what I'm thinking pre-snap. So the way I'm playing this, how I would be playing this, it's four verticals, right? So you're going to have like that. You're going to have here. You're going to have here. And you're going to have here. Me, what I would do, I would just watch this safety. What's this guy going to do? If he comes here to double this vertical, I'm throwing this. I'm throwing this post right here. If he steps in to rob from number three, your number three receiver, then I'm going one-on-one -on, -one on the vertical. If he wins, good. Over the top, let's do it. If he doesn't, back shoulder it one-on-one. -on -one. That would be my mindset on this play because I don't like that it's 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 three over two, really, because this guy's coming out of the picture. He's coming this way. So it's really a three-on-two. Now, he doesn't see this corner falling off, which is going to be the corner's play, especially to the field because this is – such a far throw to get that all the way out there. He's got so much time to react. He doesn't see it. And and this guy, like he, he, I don't know, maybe he does see it and he doesn't anticipate this guy falling back underneath it. Either way, though, you can't do that. And that's just bad. So this here, um, this is the UCLA game. This is just a really bad miss. Um, I think he's. I think his eyes are in the right spot. I think it's good because you could see here his eyes are on this safety, making sure that he can't get in the play, um, and he gets everything he wants here. I think this is just a, a a flat and a curl. So I mean, he could probably theoretically hit this curl, but there's absolutely no reason to. It's third down. You have a literal touchdown, and we just air mail it. This play right here is my absolute favorite play that I've seen from Davis Mills. I mean, this is just – this is the type of throw where you're like, that's a dude right there. Like, that is just a guy that could play football. Like, he understands it. It's third and ten. He's getting cover two. And he's like, I'm going to hole shot this right in here on a far throw to the, to the field. Like, that is a – that's just a good ball. You got to have balls to make that, and he does it. 
Cover two. This guy's pushing out. This guy's pushing out. Got to kind of sit in. He's going to try to sit, maybe redirect. He's just going to carry this vertical here. This guy's going to carry this vertical here. So theoretically, this is dead and this is dead because you got a safety literally sitting right over top of these two guys. Your only, your only chance on this is right here and right here. And I think it's third and 11 right now. So you have very small window to make this throw. And you have to be accurate and you have to be on time and you have to be all those things. And he does it. He holds that safety in the middle of the field with his eyes and it flips right to the sideline and makes a great throw. You could even see it with his hips. You could see his hips. He's, his eyes are here. He knows where he's going. He knows that he can manipulate. Right there, he flips. Bang. Now he's on this receiver. He knows this is that open hole and I'm taking it. He held that safety long enough and he makes a great ball here. I really like what he does sometimes, and then sometimes it's like just like a, a head scratcher, like bonehead stuff. Like this play right here is honestly, you know, this is Sunday throw. So I'm going to let it run here from the tight so you could see the touch on this ball here over number 40's head. See how he's moving the safety here with his eyes. Bang, comes right back. Right over the top. Beautiful. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. So. All this is here, they're running a corner route. He's going to run like a, a spot, like the snag concept, the spot concept, right? And then as soon as he settles in, whew, he's shooting right up that, right up the middle of the field. So Mills is going to just move this safety. He sees him going. I'm going to move him with his eyes. That's all I'm going to do. Look at him. Bang. Mills is moving him, moving him, moving him, moving him, getting him out of the picture. And here comes 81 sneaking right behind that backer. And then look at this. There's not much room here. This ball's already out of his hand. You got a linebacker here. You got your tight end coming right here. I mean, that's a great ball. It doesn't get better than that. This is concerning on two different levels here. So I'm going to let this run through. I don't know. I don't like the concept, but I also don't like the throw. Not... Not necessarily the placement, but why he's going there. So, to me, this is quarters all day. This looks like quarters. I, they, I don't think that they're running anything other than quarters. Like, this looks like quarters. This guy's probably going to jump out because they have no defender out here. He, I'm guessing he's going to jump out. He might come, and then they're just kind of stuck anyway. But I'm thinking he's coming out. He's just going to fall under. He's going to fall under. So, they're running a dig. And an in route, right? So most times this is just like a levels type concept where you're just going to high low this defender right here. But against quarters, it's tough because this safety has inside leverage all the way, and his only job is to break on this dig. Like that's his only job in this. Now, something to run against this is this and this. Now you're one on one. Now you got a one-on-one, -on -one or you have an easy dig throw. Um, you could drag this tight end, right, something like that, to try and help him out. So this concept doesn't help Davis Mills at all. But he doesn't help himself by throwing a dig, I think this is. I mean, he rounds he rounds this really, really badly. He needs to be flat. But he rounds this, and he does not help himself. He could have – he should have did this. He should have said, you know what? I don't like this course. I'm going to try and move these this guy and this guy out, and I'm going to try and hit this. And it's second down. Looks like second and six. I'm going to take five yards. Maybe he gets a first. Maybe it's third and maybe it's third and short. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to force this in and get picked off over the middle on a bad route and a bad concept against a, a bad coverage for those for those route combos. Right here, this is just a, a seed. This is literally a seed from Mills. Um, I wanted to show this because I, I like two things that he did here. Um, I think he's recognizing this blitz. I do. I think he's recognizing this blitz. And he doesn't just replace the blitz. He knows it's early in the down count. It's first down. And he could take his chance. He could take his chance. His one-on-one -on -one ball. He knows it. And he knows he's got it. Calm. Right down the sideline. Bang. Right in the breadbasket. It doesn't get better than that. 
Knows that guy's coming free, stands in there, bang. It doesn't get better than that. It really doesn't. So here's just like bad, bad. I mean, you're not reading it out at all. You're just like guessing. You're just guessing. All right, they're going to be in quarter, quarter, half. Like they've been all game, blah, blah, blah. They're this, they're this. Oh, no, where's the flat defender on this side? Nobody's here. Well, they tricked you, you know, and UCLA tricked them earlier in the game with a coverage against double verticals, and this guy picks them off, falling off. So, you know, he he got tricked a lot in this game, and I don't like that he's getting tricked. So this is just, you know, double slants, pretty much double slants. I think this guy keeps it more a little more vertical or skinny, probably to stay open, to stay away from this backer. But I don't, I don't know what he's doing. I mean, he could go play this inside out always, always. Any quarterback, anybody that's watching this, always play this inside out. I mean, if you want to try and pop this to him super early before this guy comes down or or this backer jumps out, do it. You could try it. Um, but you can't do this. You can't throw a pick six with five minutes left in the game to – well, I shouldn't say that because he comes back and – and does it, but I wanted to show this because it's this is not good football. You know, like if you're a coach, you're like, what are you what are you looking at? What are you doing? But anyway, he comes back and makes it 34-34 with no time left. And here is double overtime. Davis Mills dropping an absolute seed in the corner of the end zone for what will be the game winning touchdown. I mean, it's just it's so uh, this game was a roller coaster for Davis Mills, and it shows it. But I I wanted to show this last play because he doesn't get flustered. He kept coming. He kept coming back. He made a couple real nice throws on his last drive to put them into overtime. And then nail in the coffin. Davis Mills one-on-one drops a seed right over the shoulder. Doesn't get better than that.